Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we are comparing the new DJI Osmo Pocket with the DJI Osmo Mobile 2, the amazing gimbal for cell phones. This was a game changer for, I believe, for the popularity of mobile phone gimbals because of its price. It was almost half price of what it was and here we have this guy. Everyone is wondering if it will be a game changer or just a gimmicky device. That's why today's exercise is about comparing their performances. I mean, as you can see, the Osmo Pocket is tiny. It's beautiful, it's really easy to store. Whereas Osmo Mobile 2 is massive, comparatively, of course, and it comes with a foam case, which even makes my camera backpack bulky. And I will, of course, compare the audio too, but today's exercise is mostly about comparing the gimbal performances. I'm trying to keep both cameras as close to one another and we know that Osmo Pocket has a larger sensor and we are recording by the way at 4K 30 frames per second. I am trying to keep both of these guys as steady as possible. Let's go for a pen here. Reveal shot. Everything is an auto by the way so if you see anything out of focus, ta -da -ta -da -da, totally not my fault. Of course, there are some advantages of Osmo Mobile 2 over Osmo Pocket, and they are... Okay, let's go for a wild turn. How did they handle? Okay, the advantages of Osmo Mobile is obviously the command structure here. As you can see, we have tons of buttons that helps with controlling the device, that the shutter, a mode changing, a zoom, and a joystick, which are, of course, great helps when it comes to... Oh yeah, the iPhone is also... Well, I'm filming towards the sun, so maybe it's not the camera's, but it's the camera person's fault. And as we concluded earlier, yes, it is camera person. Um, the field of views are not radically different. I mean, last time I compared the Osmo Mobile 2 with GoPro, and that was even <laughs> difficult to get the same things in the frame, whereas here it's a lot easier. Yeah. Oh, just to let you know, this is an iPhone 8 Plus. We have some runners. Okay, I think as a beginning, this is quite okay. Let's... Uh, okay, I can actually run. Okay, this is the running performance. Compared Osmo Bucket with Osmo Mobile 2. I'm running following runners. I'm running the other way. I mean, I think the performances will be rather similar. Because they're both gimbals, of course. I'm really curious about Osmo Pocket's performance here. And another advantage of Osmo Mobile is obviously easy access to the zoom. Boom, zoom then, whereas we don't have this functionality at all nor an easy access button on the device. So that is an advantage, but I'm using the DJI Go app to record and they both offer the follow function, ta -da 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 -da. so which is, I think, fantastic for a device of this size. Like, um, I've been super impressed with DJI's Osmo Pocket and I was also very impressed with Osmo Mobile too. So. It's DJI versus DJI. I think I can be as brutally honest as usual. Yeah. Of course, looking at iPhone is more pleasant to the eye because it's a larger screen and that's... I'm not consuming that much media on that screen, but still. Okay. Here is a bird. I'm gonna try to follow this bird. The bird is also following me. Can't even see if I have the bird on footage here. Oh, bird is coming towards me, okay. Yeah, smaller screen, though the advantage would be adding Osmo straight on the phone, and then once you have the Osmo on the phone, you don't need this chunky Osmo Mobile 2. But of course, I think Osmo Mobile 2 is 130, 
and Osmo Pocket will be available for uh, $350 I believe but go ahead and check DJI's website I think it's available for pre-order by now uh, we did the what did we do we did the run test okay let's try to derp the gimbals I'm really moving radically here. I think you can even see the cameras when I'm doing this. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments section. Would you carry around an Osmo Mobile 2 to use your cell phone? Or would you just grab an Osmo Pocket and attach it to your phone, have more functionality and full capabilities of a gimbal? Well, we just compared the gimbals. So I'm hoping for an amazing performance from this guy. Okay, here we go. In this video, or are we still in the same video? I'm not sure. I am holding the iPhone 8 Plus on my hand, and I have the new DJI Osmo Pocket here. So I would like to compare the handheld footage, because the Osmo Pocket is actually... Uh, well, Osmo Pocket can actually be attached to the iPhone, and that makes your life easier when it comes to having a gimbal stabilization whereas iPhone is just an iPhone you hold it it's a smartphone I mean we know that it has an amazing camera as usual so here we are comparing the gimbal I am trying to keep the cameras rather close to one another but it gets trickier since the gimbal is of course doing its job and smoothening some of the footage. Should I test this in FPV mode? But then do we really get the gimbal's advantages? I don't know, but okay, I'm getting it into FPV mode now. So I think, yes, this is better. So let's see how it looks. iPhone footage, handheld compared to DJI's Osmo Pocket and I'm walking towards my camera gear. Uh, the Osmo Pocket is on FPV mode. As you can see, it follows me a lot easier. And I would like to thank actually iPhone though for the trick because he mentions the FPV mode working just fine. And he was totally right. So here it is, 4K 30 frames per second on both devices, iPhone 8 Plus versus Osmo Pocket. And of course, we are filming in New York, so that's why you get to see this amazing, amazing view. Again, let's wrap it up real quick. I think now we have the perfect alignment of the cameras, and I jinxed it. Here we go. Okay, so how are the colors? How are the reds? Do they compare? Do they Are they radically different? I'm hoping that you are familiar with uh, iPhone's color profiles or DJI's to compare. If you're a drone pilot, you are quite familiar with DJI as well. So, of course, when I do or try to do a reveal shot, let's see if the gimbal made a difference. I'm going to do that again from here. Um, did I tell you that I'm not good at this? Yes, I think you already noticed it by now. Okay, so quick comparison of 4K 30 frames per second iPhone 8 Plus handheld versus DJI. Osmo Pocket is about to be concluded. Let's conclude it with a running test. Oh, I think DJI is gonna win this one big time. Let's see how the optical limit stabilization of iPhone compares to DJI Osmo's Three axis gimbal. All right. Okay. All righty. Let's go for a close up like this. How does the footage look? All right. Let's end this video here with this guy running. 
Ooh, and the boat. Sorry, I'm easily distracted as you can see. Whew, that's beautiful. And perfectly focused on DJI Osmo. By the way, they changed my unit. I think my, and I also took down my previous video. So uh, please ignore those videos. Here I have a functioning unit and I can easily see as well that it is doing a good job. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe. And I don't know why I said that. Look into the trash. All right. So, thanks for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe and see you next time.